Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to my channel, Zeno Vision. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install LA Revo. With LA Revo, you will get all these custom maps and custom vehicles, as you can see right here. I gotta say, this is one of the best graphic mods I've seen until now. I love it. So I'm gonna walk you through it on how to install this. But before we get started, I would love for you all to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can start following my channel. So let's get started. Started. Okay, to make this all work, we're gonna have to download a few files and install them. I'm gonna walk you through everything. Uh, just to be clear, uh, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial, which you can follow. If you have any troubles with it, or you're just too lazy, which uh, I've gotten many requests for it, uh, there's a service in my Discord where I offer to install it for you remotely. Uh, so yeah, check it out, DM me through my Discord server. Um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is my uh, Discord right here. Uh, as you can see, we also have a support page, and yeah, we're very active in it. Uh, for this story, we're gonna go to the GTA 5 custom maps. Just to be clear, you need to be verified uh, on the server. You need to send a screenshot, and it will automatically verify you. Uh, but you can also just type in the links as you see here um, on your browser. So the next step is we're gonna need OpenIV, Scripthook V, and LA Revo itself. So I'm not going to show you how to install OpenIV, you just download it uh, right here. You can download it directly because the site is down, but whenever the site comes back, you can click on the link. You're going to need Scriptook V, which is right here. OpenIV is down. So Scriptook V, you can just download it. Uh, same goes for OpenIV. It will download right away, as you can see. And you need to also get the LA Revo. So... For this tutorial, we're going to use a clean version of Grand Theft Auto. So if you have nothing installed, then that's perfect for you. Uh, let's hop over to our downloaded files and our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder. Okay, on my left side, I have my Grand Theft Auto main directory folder. A quick, quick note on that. I have multiple clean versions, so I always have a backup. And I like to split up my, um, my plugins. So we're going to use this version right here. This is a totally clean version. And this is how you actually can play with it. Just change the name to this. And if you want to not play with a different version, you'll change it to something else. Okay, so let's start with the uh, script hook V. Right click on it. Oh no, let's start with open IV. Uh, you're going to open it with administration, right? I'm not going to show you how to install this. It's just uh, you just accept the terms and it will install it on the location. Next thing after you install it, right click on it, run as administrator. Let it load up. Uh, click on Windows right here. Uh, click on what can I do. Set permissions. And go to Tools. ASI Manager. Click on Install. Install. With Mods folder, yes. Install. Close. And you can close this down too. Then we're going to go to Script Hook V. Right click on it and hit Extract All extract double click on it go into the bin folder and go in your grand theft auto main directory folder select these two files not the native trainer and just go here and replace it go back then we're going to go to the last one and that's going to be uh the complete five that's going to be the sync sp player so the, you can download these from their from their site this is 5m client side server side and this is sp so single player for gta we're going to click on WinRAW and extract, let it extract. And after that is done, we're going to open up the folder. We're going to click on this and we're here. We're going to go to, ah, let's just read the requirements, open IV and script V. As you can see, um, we're going to go to the main installation files. Make sure you order this as, what was it? Sort group by none and then name as you can see one till eleven you need to do this as uh as the right order one till eleven so let's start by part one just double click on it if you cannot double click on it uh, you haven't set your windows to oiv then you can just open up open iv and just drag and drop it in uh in there so i'm gonna do this one like this one it's easy installing mods folder 
for part two, I'm going to show you the alternative way for anyone that doesn't have uh, already the option to double click on it. So this is going to take a while to download all, f install all f uh, 11 of them. So if you want, it's all the same process. You can just skip forward, fast forward it. Okay. So this is the second part two. It's not going to work right away. You need to turn on edit mode. And you're going to drag and drop it. So that's option number two. We also have option three. And that's through here to the through the tools option. I'm also going to show you that. In the meanwhile, it's a good moment for you to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Okay. Let's go to tools. ASI manager. Sorry, not ASI manager. We already did that. Package installer, go to your complete five uh, real June. Go to main files. Now we're now, uh, I've got the same issue right here. That's annoying. Details. Name. Okay, not so important. So we're at part uh, three right now. Now you can select it and it will also install it like this. So now you know three ways to install OIV file. Okay, part three is done. I'm gonna do the rest like this. Just double click on it. Again, you can fast forward this part. It's all the same. Um, and it's very easy. If for some reason you really don't wanna do it yourself, again, you can get my service. Um, I will do it remotely through any desk or team viewer. You'll still be full in control. Um, I've gotten so many requests for it, uh, for LSPDFR, which is a bit harder, of course. So it takes me also a few hours to do it. Which part were, fuck, were we here? I don't even remember. I think we were here. So now we're part five, I hope. See, now I don't pay attention, fuck. Well, I guess I'll look after I am done recording because you can't actually download them twice. If you install them twice, then you might get crashes. So I will see in the end of this tutorial uh, or when I start testing it out. Okay, part five is also done. Part six, let's double click on it. Let load up. Install, install to mods folder, install. Okay, let's go to part seven. Let's hit install, install to mods folder, install. Okay, let's close it. Let's go to part eight. Install to mods folder, confirm. Okay, let's go to part nine. Call to mods folder, confirm. Okay, let's go to part 10. And hit install in mods folder, confirm it. And then part 11, the last part for the main installation files. Okay, install these also. So this video, eight minutes, whoa. Okay, also done. Let's go back. Then we're gonna go to the realism script right here. And we're gonna, let me just check it. Yes, we're gonna install it. Uh, just double click on it. And hit. Install in games folder. Okay, and that is also done. Let's go to add ons and let's do oh, Matic Clouds. Awesome. Uh, this one is through uh, uh, Quantum V. 
let's see satellite map let's go to 4k 8k mix installer XD, what does this mean? Okay, hit install, install, install. So, oh, this is the game convict file. Okay. Um, NVE, no. FPS boost. Now, something more interesting to show. Oh, I think that's it. White screen radar fix. No, that's it. So, uh, yeah, let's start up uh, Grand Theft Auto and see if it's working. Okay, it's loading up. Maybe you get a pop up the first time because we installed Scriptor V and some other. Things it will ask you to unblock it. You just click yes, unblock them files. Okay, this is how uh, the loading screen will look like. Okay, it is loaded up as you can see. And right off the bat, it already looks awesome. And there you have our vehicle. Everything has been replaced. So that is pretty awesome. Look at the trees. I gotta say, it is awesome. Awesome. So yeah, let me know what you think about it. Um, a lot of things has been changed, improved in the game. Definitely all the vehicles that's changed, that is a big ass plus for me um, where else yeah all the billboards awesome definitely a lot of changes right there I love it honestly they've done some good work in here Some awesome cars. Take this Mary. Mary, 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 Mary. Get out, get out, get out. Damn. It is awesome. Also, just the reflections are pretty awesome. Oh, okay, boys and girls, that was it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, also the map is different, by the way. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, thank you all for watching and goodbye.